In this video, we will learn how to update an existing node. For this, we will have a callback to update the node in the files code. In order to do that, let's get to the coding. The node detail fragment has been using for the create node, update node, and view node. So we have three different actions. To demonstrate this action, we need to have a logic for it. As you can see in the node listing adapter, we have three callbacks as a lambda functions. One is on item click, on edit click, and on digit click. For the on item click, we will just navigate to the node detail screen and also we will pass as a flag to differentiate the action. For sending the flag, I will use the bundle and pass the string with the key type. Type will indicate us whether the user want to view the node or want to edit the node or want to update. In the delete, we don't need that because we want to simply delete the node. We don't need to go to the detail screen. Now we have three different actions. One is view, one is date, and the another one is to create. For the create, we need to also pass that type as well. Go to the node detail fragment, and there we will implement the logic for it. I will create a function named update UI and I will call as the view is created. So the first function will be called this one. Now we will get the type which we passed from the not listing fragment arguments dot get string. We will mention the key and also default value will be null. We'll check that if the type is not null, then we will use when condition. In the when condition, I will mention there three different actions. One is create. Second one is view and third one is update or edit. So based on these function, we need to update the UI. In case of view, if the user want to view the detail, we need to hide the button and also the edit box should be disabled. So if the user don't interact or edit any text because we want to view the node. To do that, I will first simply disable the edit text. and also hide the button as well. For the create, I will set the text to the button create. In the edit case, we also set the button text as a update. I will also create another variable is edit. We also need that because when user click on the button, we need to find out which fun which action is to be performed, either is to be performed as a edit or create. So that was the reason I created that variable. I will also need to separate function to put the code in associate function. For the create node, I will just copy that code and paste it there. Now the code looks like clean and easy to read. We'll also, so the another function is to update node.
I will check if the is it edit true then we'll trigger the update node function else create node for update node I will simply copy the code of create node and paste it for the ID we will get the ID from the object which we will pass from the node listing fragment because we want to update the existing node that's why we need an ID for that I will pass there first I need to add parcelize so that we can pass that data class from fragment listing to the node detail fragment currently we are getting error because the plugin is not added I will need to add the plugin for that the plugin sync now build now we can parcelize after parcelizing the data class now we can pass that item to the node detail fragment I will also need to create a variable which will hold that node object I will name it obj node so it doesn't have conflicts with another same variable now in the edit case I will get that from the arguments since we know the key is not now from that object I will get the ID as the ID is set as a well and non nullable so that's why I will add empty string in case of null in update case I will need to update the text to update for the button I will also need to have a function in the view model which we call from the fragment to update node and also have separate live data in order to maintain the UI state now update node as soon as we get the ID as soon as we get the data from the repository we'll update the live data we need to also have a function in the node repository for update data I will just simply override that function and will copy the code from add node and paste it in the update node I will just remove that line we don't need it so in case we will set the ID from the node because we want to update the existing node for that purpose we need to pass the ID in the document now just refactor the code and update the message not has been updated if the note is updated successfully in the view model now I will call that function update note and also update not live data in the update case we need to set the text message to the edit text because we want to update the existing note for that purpose we are setting the text to the edit text now we have three different action view create and edit first one we want to check the view I will click on the note Oops. so the text is not showing it seems like something is went wrong now we'll go to the node detail and see if the view action 
seems like we are not setting the data to the edit box. We also need to set data to the edit box in case of view because the user want to detail of the object. I will run it again and see. It's still not showing again because the not object is only getting in the edit case. We also need to get that not object in the view case as well. And also pass from through the bundle as well. So in two of the case we need the node object. One is to view the node and to update the node. Let's test it out. Click on it. Yes, here we are. Now we can get the details. So the first action view is working fine. Now we need to go to the second action. So the second action is to create an object. As create the node is also working fine. Now the third one is left to update the node. To test that now so the third action is left to update the node. To update the node I will simply click on the edit button and to see if that node is updating or not. We need to be updated. The node has been updated successfully. Now we'll go back to the listing screen and now you can see the updated message. So that's how the update work. Now we'll just repeat how the update work I will go to simply node detail first of all I will go to the node listing screen from there when we click on the edit button we need to pass two of the items one is type one is node I will go to the node detail screen and the function so the first function which is calling update UI will go there and check the action if the action is edit so is it true now in the odd ob object node, we just holding that node we pass from the listing screen and also setting the existing text as well. And also the button text is also updated. Now, so when user click on the button, we check the boolean variable. If the is it edit true, then we trigger the update node function. In the update node, I simply just call the function update load which is in the view model and passing that note object. In the view model, first one is triggering the loading state and the second one is to call that update function from the repository and go there from the repository and check in the repository implementation. In the repository implementation, I will simply just in the node collection and the document with the ID as we are updating the node, that's why we are passing the ID. So we need to update the existing node. And we just simply set that node object which we passed from the fragment to the view model and then to the repository. So in the callbacks, we just simply return the results. So that's how the node operation is working. In this video, we will we learn how to update the node. And also we learn how to update the UI based on the different action. So that's it.